Hello there, YouTube. Welcome to Dom's AI News Report. As you can see, I'm using Elon's voice for the intro. In today's episode, we will discuss AI voice cloning apps and the best AI voice generation tools. Okay, back to my original voice. How cool was that? Today, we're going to talk about how to clone the voice. We're going to go through multiple apps. I shortlisted many of them and I prepared a comparison table and I'm going to present some of them as a demo. But if you don't want to watch the whole video, just for you, the answer to how to clone your voice, the best quality, the best app out there, Descript. Descript.com, go there, register yourself. There's a free tier, you can do it right now and it's very easy. But I will strongly encourage you to watch the whole video because I'm gonna show you multiple other apps, other use cases, when to use other apps. To answer the main question, how to clone the voice, I'm gonna select this column, voice cloning, and only two apps actually can do that. 11labs.io and Descript. The other can do the same, but I decided it's not a good recommendation because they're very expensive. You're gonna see it later on when I'm gonna go through the website and try to demo it. From what I checked, 11 Labs is really good, really cool, but the quality is not there yet. Descript got the best quality. Also, it's worth to mention that Descript is incubated and invested by OpenAI. So those are the guys behind ChatGPT. It depends on your use case. For example, if you want to use it as a backend service for your application, the first two are the best options. If you want to clone your voice for fun or just play around, this script is the best way to go. All of them got the option to generate text to voice. They're great tools to use as an AI generated voice, but it's really worth to say that last two have got the option that is voice changing. The other three can do that, but they actually convert voice to text and then text to voice, which is not great, not the same. It's not changing, it's like recreating. But the last two actually can change your voice, which is quite impressive and cool. I'm gonna show you demo later on. And the last two also can include emotions in your voice, like enhance it, or you can use it with emotion. So let's start with the 11 Labs. This startup is fairly new, less than a year old, and their goal is to instantly convert spoken audio between languages. Very notable goal. I hope they will succeed their mission. They also state that later on they're planning to release AI dubbing tool, which is basically this voice cloning thing. And for release later this year, will let users automatically revoice any audio or video in a different language. Their pricing is really straightforward. They've got the free tier, which includes API access, which is really cool. They've got 10,000 characters per month, which is, I think, a lot. The only thing, they only support English language. Okay, and this is how their beta.11labs.io app looks like. So I'm already logged in and you have voice cloning and voice design. So when you click on voice cloning, you can go to, I, I actually created three out of five. This is my voice, this is my girlfriend, and I also cloned Elon Musk voice. Elon Musk, you heard on the beginning. My voice is not that great generated, check it out. Hello there, YouTube. Welcome to Dom's AI News Report. As you can see, I'm using Elon's voice for the intro. In today's episode, we will discuss AI voice cloning apps and the best AI voice generation tools. Let's try my girlfriend, Gabby. Hello there, YouTube. Welcome to Dom's AI News Report. As you can see, I'm using Elon's voice for the intro. In today's episode... That's not my girl's voice. And that was not my voice. So, they perfectly clone Elon's voice, but... It's not there yet. Lastly, I want to show you that they have nice dogs, API documentation. If somebody wants to integrate 
their service in their own front end. Pretty cool. Right, the next one is play.ht. I'm starting with the price page just to show you because there's no free tier actually for what we want to do. We want to generate the voice. We could do that in theory for free as a trail, but definitely not a voice cloning. And I'll show you in a second, but this is their price structure. It's quite expensive. A basic feature is generating voice from text to speech. So let's actually... Hello there, YouTube. Welcome to Dom's AI News Report. It's pretty standard. In today's episode, we will discuss AI voice cloning apps and the best AI voice generation tools. It does the job. It works great for text to speech. But if we want to try this new thing, voice cloning, see, they've got also Elon Musk. It's very popular to include Elon Musk in all those presentations. The great thing about play.ht is that you can clone your own voice or use existing high quality voices. It is crazy good. You cannot tell if these are human voices or machine ones anymore. I think the previous one was was better, but it's subjective, it's my opinion. But I'll show you something. Let's start the trial. I want my own voice, obviously, because if I'm gonna say Elon, I might have some legal problems. I want to play with it. And yeah, that's my problem. $300 per month. And that's the reason why I said it's possible but it's very expensive and that's probably ruling out the this app. Right, the next thing I want to talk about is actually a Descript, which is the, the main app I recommend for using voice cloning. As you can see, there's a free tier, zero. You can do overdub for 1000 words. Now, I want to talk about one thing. As you can see, Descript is uh, calling this feature overdub. It's not mentioning about voice cloning. And I think they're doing it on purpose because most people would have silly ideas if you hear about possibility of cloning someone's voice. Your, your voice, obviously, for if you're a professional podcaster, you want to overdub by cloning your voice. That makes sense. But this app actually allow you to clone any kind of voice. And they're not advertising it this way because of the ethics. So you can create it as a joke, clone your friend's voice, but some people might actually abuse it and clone someone's grandson voice, call grandparents and ask for ransom. So that's why they're only focusing on podcasters and very pro audience. It's also worth to say that they're not exposing any mobile apps for general public, just to not make it easier to abuse this technology. Okay, the next one is Alter.ai. This one also can clone voice, but it's very expensive, 135 per month. I included it as a alternative app for voice generation, text to speech, because it's got other really cool features. For example, when you go to the main website, you can see. So the good news is that we've got enough fuel to make it there and back. If we slingshot around this moon here, when it reaches the edge. Of the bad news is we don't have enough oxygen moon here when it reaches the edge of our orbit. So this is changing your voice, altering your voice. It's not converting your voice to text to voice, but it altering your voice. Another example. And whether any of you or anyone else knows it, I will intro all. Whether any of you or anyone else knows it, I know I. It's pretty cool. Okay, the next one is revoicer.com. I actually mentioned it before on my previous episode, so you can check it out. But today I just want to compare the prices. They do not have a free tier. It's $27 per, per month, but they've got half a million characters per month with 80 voices among many languages. And the biggest thing is neural emotion AI engine. I really suggest to check it out because it's pretty cool. 
Okay, so those were the five apps I shortlisted. Before I'm gonna show you the demo of how to use this script, I just want to say two more things. First, I didn't include many apps because I thought they're not worth to mention, they're not ready, those are proof of concept. There are really good implementation like uh, from Microsoft Wall-E where they can create and clone voice from only three seconds of any audio snippet. But they didn't expose a demo which we can all play around with it so I don't find any value presenting it today for general public. And also it's pretty scary if that would work like what they presenting in their paper. Like that's a perfect use case for CIA, FBI or MI6. Imagine the applications of this tool. And second thing what I want to say on this point is that none of those applications actually work on mobile. There are some mobile apps but they're not ready, they're not production ready, there's no quality. Okay, let's move on to this script. I'm going to show you how to use it. So I'm going to create a text which I'm going to read and then train my voice on in this script. So just to show you, I've got two voices right now which I can train in this script. I've got my voice in English language and my voice in Polish language. So I want to go to my voice and I want to train my English voice with new keywords. Okay, so let's test my voice in this script. I'm gonna type some words. Let's test my voice for the purpose of YouTube video. By the way, please like the video if you enjoy it so far. You can also leave a comment what I can improve. All right, let's try and generate this voice now. Okay, so I'm choosing my voice, which I pre-trained before, and now let's play it. Oops, it's not working. Or... Video. ETW. Please like the if you enjoy it so far. You can also leave a comment. Yeah, let's try again. Thank you for watching. That's all for today. If you enjoy it, please like, or subscribe. I will put links to all the apps in the description down below. If you want, please comment what I can improve in my videos. I'll try to answer every single comment.